Hey guys, this is Chad Halverson from When I Work, and today we're going to make work less work by talking about open scheduling and the difference between open scheduling versus traditional scheduling. So what we've got here in front of us right now is what we call traditional scheduling. We've got our employees on the left. They're all scheduled sh the shifts they need to be working. We've organized it and allocated shifts according to their qualifications, according to how many people we need at the right time, at the right place, and everything else. So this is, uh, this is your typical kind of traditional scheduling. You, you get the shift set up. We drop one in here. We're going to schedule this person from 11 to 6, and that's the, uh, the traditional scheduling approach. What I want to talk about now is the open scheduling approach. Uh, at the top here, we have what we call open shifts, this open shifts row. And I'm going to show you how a lot of our, of our uh, customers and our users are using open shifts to somewhat automate the scheduling process and giving their employees the opportunity and flexibility to self-assign themselves their work schedule. So I'm going to go through this quick with you guys to show you kind of how this works. So open shifts are basically shifts that have not been assigned to anybody yet. That's why they're called open. And what I can do here is I can start setting up my shifts that I need covered. So let's say that I need three people from 7 to 4 p.m. on Monday to work the front desk. So I'm going to select that shift. I'm going to make it an open shift, as it says here. And I need three of them. So I'm going to put in that I need three of these. And then I'm going to create it. And now what I've done is I've, I've created an open shift in which I'm saying I need three people uh, to cover that for this particular day. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the next day. So I know that I'm going to need the same thing the next day. So I'm going to drag this over and copy uh, that over. I'm going to say that I need three on this day as well. So I need three front desks uh, for the rest, of the, uh, uh, the rest of the week. So I can just do that and drop them over like this uh, for the whole week. Um, don't need it on Sunday. And I will put in that I need three each day. And as I do that, I'm going to update this one to say three, save. We got the cuckoo. All right, so I got my uh, my shifts set up that I need, I need three people working seven to four front desk every day this week. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add my next one. So I can go and add another shift. Now let's say I need a... Uh, a manager from two to seven. So I'm going to drop in that manager and I need that person to cover that. I need a manager from two to seven every day. So I'll do that. And I need to also uh, fill in a position from three to nine. So I'll drop that in. Uh, this one is going to be someone that I need working on the floor. So I'll set that as a floor position. And from three to nine is our busier time. So I need four people to work that from from three nights. I'm going to create that on Monday. And then I'm going to bump it over um, to the rest of the week for the same thing. And I will indicate that I need three people on each of those days as well. So you get the idea. What I'm doing here is really setting up what I need covered. So I'm indicating what shifts need to be worked, uh, how many people I need on those shifts, and what role or position that I, that I need worked as well. So once I have this set up, I can do a couple things. So I can publish this. So I can click up here and click Publish and Notify. And now what, that, what happens is all my employees down here that aren't scheduled are going to see these shifts available to them if they're qualified and available. And then they can choose to 
uh, to pick those shifts up and to and to sign up for those shifts or to um, kind of raise their hand and say, "I'll I'll work that shift. I'll work that shift." So it's a it's a really helpful way to um, get your 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 labor needs outlined and set up, and then you can have the scheduling be um, self service to to your team uh, when once it once it's out. Now. Um, I'm gonna. I'll show you quick how that looks to the employee. So I'm gonna bounce over to the uh, to the iPhone app here to show you what that looks like. Do a refresh, and what we'll end up getting here is we'll end up getting uh, all those open shifts that are available. So uh, here we can see I'm, I'm an employee looking on here, and I can see wow, there's three open shifts from seven to four um, on Monday as a front desk person. Um, there's a manager shift, there's a floor shift. I'm qualified for all of these shifts, so it's showing me all of them. So uh, I'm gonna sign up for one of these Monday shifts. So I'm gonna go in, take a look at the details on that shift and take it. Down at the bottom here, I can hit take shift and I'll hit take. And now what's happened is it has assigned me that shift. So now when we go back to the uh, schedule, we can see that that particular shift has been uh, picked up by me. Um, I can go to the next day here and I'm going to work uh, the floor shift tomorrow. There's three of those available, so I'm going to go and take a look at that. Um, looks like looks like I'm not qualified for that one, um, but I'm a manager so I can offer it out to others. So if I want to offer it out to other people on the team, I can hit offer and assign and it'll show me the employees that are qualified and available. And I can hit notify. Uh, and it'll notify Daniel and Evan that that shift is is available. Um, bounce back over here, take a look at the Wednesday shift, and um, two to seven. I'm going to take that shift too, so I'll take that one. And what I've done here now is I'm I'm sort of filling up my my schedule in a self service kind of way. So that's kind of how if you want to create a self service approach to how you uh, get the schedule out there for your for your team to uh, to uh, sign up for shifts. Um, that's how you do it. Now, what's what's interesting is if you don't want to rely on your team to sign up for shifts, you can still use the open shift scheduling approach to get your get your shifts. Um, Outlined, and then you can do the scheduling yourself right from the right from the right from the tool. So, for example, now I reloaded this the schedule here, and you can see that the shifts that I took have updated on the schedule here. So I already have uh, two shifts that I've already moved from open shifts to myself um, here. But now, let's say I don't want you know I I don't want to rely on my team to self to self assign themselves the shifts. So what I can do as as I, as I have all these set up is I can just start dragging them down. So I can grab the shift and start dragging it down to the team. And as I drag it down, you'll notice there's a thumbs up, thumbs down, and it'll give me a thumbs up on the employees that are qualified for that shift. So Evan here is qualified for the floor shift. So I'll drop that on him down here. You'll notice it, it counted down to two now. So I have two more shifts to fill. So I'll drag that one down and uh, I can do the same thing on this shift. looks like, I don't have anybody else that's qualified to work this one, so looks like I'm going to take this one for myself. Uh, so you get the idea in terms of how you can do this scheduling. So then as I drag these down for each person, um, I am basically kind of filling out my schedule for the week based on the open shifts that I've created um, that tells me how many people I need, uh, for what times, and what roles. Uh, and then I get that sent, and I get that set up. And once I have them all, all pulled down into their slots, uh, I can go back and I can publish the schedule, and then it'll notify all my all my employees of their of their schedule for the uh, for, for the week. Now, what I can do to make this easy for me going forward is once I have my my coverage that I need up in the open uh, open shifts, the open scheduling area, I can save this as a template and then reuse it from week to week. So what I'll do now is I'll go over here and hit save template and I'll call this my my open schedule uh, coverage. Create that template and now when I go into the future 
to a week that isn't filled out and I go and load that template, I can grab my open schedule coverage and it'll take that template of what I've already outlined that I need, drop it in there, and then I can hit apply. And then of course I can do one of two things. I can start dragging them down to the people that are qualified or I can publish the shifts and let my team self uh, self sign up for those. So I hope that's that's helpful. Uh, thought that open scheduling uh, is would be an interesting um, way for for you to look at how you do your scheduling and how you um, get your labor needs uh, outlined before you put out a schedule and possibly uh, create a, a flexibility where you can empower your team to sign up and self-service their own schedules as you as you do it. So hope that helps. And if there's questions about this feature, don't hesitate to let us know. I hope that this outline and this overview of open shifts will help you make work less work for you, your business, and your team. Thank you.